Here we have a very ugly problem. But actually, the problem being this woman that's hanging down here, I think it's a woman, yeah, it's a woman, and you know, she might fall to her death. So what the solution to the problem is to pull her up and get her over here. But actually, this problem here of hanging in space is not really the problem. It's the solution to the problem of how to get from here to up there. So what appears to be the problem is actually the solution to some other problem in the background. Okay, so I just went through the basics of family system theory, where the identified patient comes in, they're the problem, but the therapist who thinks systemically knows that actually the presenting problem, the identified patient, the behavior that needs to be fixed, is actually the solution to some other problem in the family system. And you gotta figure out what that problem is and address that problem, then the family can let go of the dysfunctional solution to the problem in the background. So that's the problem is not the problem. And speaking of family therapy, when I was a resident, I remember sitting in a lecture. I thought family systems theory was really intellectually interesting. But I got a little lost. When, this is back in the actual chalk and blackboard days. So we've got 10 schools of family therapy in a column, and then we're starting on the second column when we're at 13 or 14. So there's structural, then there was strategic, but there was also a structural strategic. Then there was the Milan School, and then there was the Philadelphia Clinic. I just, I couldn't keep it straight. And then, okay, which is the one that has the rubber fence idea? Was that structural or strategic, or no, was that Jay Haley? Who was it who said rubber fence, and how does that fit in? And I know the Milan guys are into paradoxical interventions, but I think the Philadelphia people were. So it was so confusing, you couldn't possibly keep it straight and go, now I'm gonna do a structural strategic intervention. So as a result of that intellectual limitation of mine, I decided to make trauma model therapy boiled down to a few basic ideas I could actually remember and use, such as the problem is not the problem. But then I had the problem of, when is the problem not the problem? When do you apply this principle and when do you not? So I decided that I would just apply it to everything all the time. That way I didn't have to remember. 